Do you think you'll ever give, uh, uh, I wish friends like those, who needs enemies? Hey, it's your girl Kenya Moore, and I am here to answer all of your Real Housewives of Atlanta fan questions. Are you ready? You're the shade queen, well thank you very much, of them all, but which castmate do you think is the next runner up? I think Sheree is pretty shady. I think Sheree is pretty damn shady. So I would say Sheree. All right. Out of all of your castmates, who has a more wild and fun side than we see on the show? Probably Drew. I think Drew kind of comes across a little more conservative, but honey, when we were in, um, was it South Carolina? during Bolo Gate, I know Drew has a very wild side. So I would say Drew. Do you see Kenya Moore Hair Care ever making an appearance in the UK? Absolutely! <laughs> and I will definitely bring my marching band. Yeah, so we're working on bringing Kenya Moore Hair Care to the UK um, probably within the next six months. I'm super excited. I get emails every single day and questions on IG wondering when is Kenya Moore Hair Care coming to the UK? So within the next six months, I would say we will definitely be here in a store near you. And thank you for asking. Our HOA is one of the most memed shows of all time. How does it feel to see your face as reactions to tweets? I think it's pretty funny. Like I love that we're, we, are kind of like in the middle of pop culture. Like we have created some of the most iconic moments in pop culture, like by Felicia and Gone with the Wind Fabulous and um, Twirl and uh, like who said that? 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 Like it's just so many that I can't even name them, but I love the fact that people love to quote our show all the time and make memes and, and say things that we've said and repeat them, so it feels really good. Considering you and Sheree are cool, how do you feel about her not defending you in episode seven when Marl made those accusations about you? Um, you know, I was very disappointed in Sheree. She is my friend. I obviously have been there for her and a lot of what you don't see is off camera. And I'm a real friend to her, not just a TV friend or a camp on camera friend to her. So when I saw that, I was like, first of all, they were completely made up and consider the source. But for her to like not defend me or to say that's not true or let's not go there, or I was just really, again, disappointed. And when I called, I actually called Sheree behind that. And she was like, I don't remember saying that. I don't remember doing that, but I will definitely own the fact that I did. And I apologize to you. And I'm like, eh, that's on camera. You know, and that will live forever and that's not cool. You were, you know, you're my friend, so I didn't like that at all. I wish friends like those, who needs enemies? If you could cast another housewife from a different franchise on our HOA, who would it be and why? I would say I would bring my good girlfriend, Giselle, from the Real Housewives of Potomac because I love Giselle, we're really good friends and we're so much alike, and I can sit and talk to Giselle all day. And I think Giselle is the me of Potomac. <laughs> so we definitely have a lot in common, so I would de definitely say Giselle. Do you have a favorite tagline that you've created? I think my favorite tagline is my first tagline, which is, I won Miss USA, not Miss Congeniality. I thought that was everything. It was like describing, or forecasting what I would be on the show that season. And it was like very kind of controversial because I think when people think you're in a pageant, like you always say the right things and do the right things and you don't offend anyone. And I was just so much the opposite of that. So <laughs> I, would say, I would say season five, my first tagline. Oh, funny, it's funny we were talking about pageants. So what is the most valuable lesson you've learned as Miss USA that you still use today? And I would have to say I am always 100% myself. Like it, love it, leave it. I am 100% authentic and I think that when I was Miss USA, and I, I eventually, as you guys know, I became the second black Miss USA to ever win a Miss USA. And I think it wasn't because I was trying to be something I wasn't. I came 
um, to into pageants and competed in pageants as myself. A girl from Detroit, um, you know, I had regular parents. I wasn't born with a spoon in my mouth. I didn't have this like elite li lifestyle. I was just me. I was just authentically me and I don't conform um, to try to meet someone else's standards of who they think I should be. Um, I'm just myself. So I would have to say, always be yourself. Do you think all of your castmates bring something to the table? that makes the show what it is. If not, who doesn't? You know, I do think that everyone brings something different to the table. Um, I think that we have a very unique cast. The cast works because we're all different personalities and that we do bring something unique of our own lifestyle. Now, some people have a little bit more weight that they bring, but not in the way of pounds, but in the way of being like trying too hard and I will not name names, but you know who that person is. Is there anything you dislike about this new season? You know, this is a great season. I have to say this is one of our best seasons since I joined the cast in season five. It truly is full of drama, full of resolution, full of, um, you know, emotional, emotional um, issues that come up between the girls, between their, their, um, families like it's full of drama and I think that's what makes us unique but it's also full of laughter and you know no one is funnier than the Atlanta girls like they can try all day long they will never be as funny as the Atlanta girls I would say definitely um that's that's what I love the most about this season but I don't dislike anything other than poor choices in um in housewives yeah, the new season is everything. I think it just gets back to like why people fell in love with the Real Housewives of Atlanta to begin with. The drama, the friendships, the authentic friendships, um, the laughter, the shade. I think that's what makes Atlanta number one. And I think, you know, we are getting back to that status because we're back to being what made us great to begin with. Thanks for all your fan questions on The Real Housewives of Atlanta. And guess what? Check us out on Hey You and check us out right now.